So in this video, we're going to talk about how to use MATLAB to solve a linear system. I'll begin by um, covering a few basic commands in MATLAB, and we'll use them in MATLAB itself in a second. Uh, but you can use apostrophe here uh, to um, transpose a vector or a matrix in MATLAB. You can use uh, the EYE function to create an identity matrix. You can use the in function, the inverse function, to compute the inverse of a matrix. Or, alternatively, you can use the also the left divide, uh, which is this character, backslash, uh, uh, to also compute the, inver the, the solution to a linear system. And uh, we note that computing the solution to a linear system with this command is equivalent, mathematically speaking, it's equivalent to uh, computing the inverse of a times b, but but I'll just leave it at the, at the note that using the, the the linear system solvers, which we'll call, cover in the next video, is much more computationally efficient. So let's go back briefly to the example that we were looking at before, which is the burning of propane, um, and. Uh, we learned how to balance this chemical reaction, how to find the coefficients x1, x2, x3, and x4, and so on, such that uh, the equation uh, has been balanced. This was covered in a, vid in a video or two back. Right? The way we do this is we, from this chemical reaction, we go to a linear system of equations. And today we're going to see how we can code this linear system equation into a matrix, a vector, and another vector, so ax equals b kind of setting, and then we're going to use MATLAB to produce the solution of these unknowns, x1, x2, x3, and x4, which are the coefficients that balance this chemical reaction. So let's jump right into MATLAB here. Um, we have here uh, a script that will also be available at the course website, and where we have coded here the matrix uh, that comes out of that linear system for balancing the chemical reaction of propane. The right-hand side vector is coded here, and the solution x, right? So the solution of the linear system is a, is can be computed a backslash uh, b, right? And we can store the value into x. So let's go one by one and copy and paste these commands into the MATLAB command window. So we built this matrix, right? So and since I did, didn't silence the output here, MATLAB is printing back uh, what it understood. As me coding this matrix so I can print it back and verify does this match what we had here before um, right one three eight zero zero two zero minus one zero minus two and so on so you can see that it matches pretty well here's how we code the vector B so we're going to code this vector B and you can see it understood things properly and here's how we solve for the linear system. So MATLAB is just a fancy calculator, right? So we today we learned how to solve a linear system with the backslash operator. And it gives you that x1 should be 1, x2 should be 5, x3 should be 3, and x4 should be 4. And I'll leave it as a homework for you to plug this back into this equation and verify that the number of carb, uh, carbon atoms, hydrogen atoms, and oxygen atoms are the same on the left-hand side and the right-hand side of the equation. Um, so this is uh, this is a pretty straightforward script, right? So with three commands, you can find the, uh, the solution. To, you can appropriately balance a complicated chemical reaction if you would like. So let's take a look at a couple more things, right? So uh, we mentioned the apostrophe as as a transpose. So if x is a vac is a column vector now, if I put x transpose it gives me a row vector. Likewise, A here is a matrix at the moment. If I type A transpose, it essentially flips the orders of uh, everything that was a, a row before becomes a column and, and vice versa. We also have uh, the, the inverse operator, right? So we can compute the inverse of the matrix A. And you can see the inverse matrix A is given over here. So this matrix here looks very different than the original matrix. And we can double check, in fact, that it is an inverse, right? So we can compute inverse of A times A, and that should come out to 
the identity matrix and hopefully it does and in fact it does right likewise we also stated that this, this is the same as a times the inverse of a at the other end and we should come up with again the identity matrix